push the tempo, 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 push the tempo. We used to break bats, used to break stumps galore. The biggest thing was the guys in slips and the, and the wicket keepers had to watch out for the stumps and bales. They used to come through like missiles. You break blokes' legs, you break blokes' arm, hit them in the pads and they have to get carried off. Ooh, that was a nasty one. Wild as a meat axe. You know, if you got hit, it was broken. Your ribs were broken, your arms were broken, whatever was broken, you know, you dismantled. It was really, really quick. Oh, bowled him. Oh, good bouncer. Oh, just a terrifying fast bowler. I think uh, Tomo probably was the quickest of everybody. In Antigua, I was a uh, night watchman, and he ran in and bowled this ball. It kicked just from a good length, hit me in, the uh, in my rib, and I, um, I was numb for about oh, two hours. I was actually carried off. No, a fast, fast bowler, the fastest ever, but a great fast bowler too. Often the ball would go the wrong way to what I wanted it to go. And sometimes I forgot which way it's supposed to go to as well. I'll give you a classic example. Uh, I knew Lance Gibbs pretty well. He said, it's your responsibility to make sure that he doesn't kill me. I said, Gibbsy, I'm not even the captain of the team. He said, I don't give a stuff. He said, it's your responsibility. If I get killed, I'm going to blame you. And bowl him. Bowled. It's all over. Oh, yeah, if I went up a gear, if somebody really annoyed me and I did my lolly, ha. Oh. That was a pretty vicious ball, that one. Mate, I could just literally... <laughs> Put you in hospital if I want to. Barbados, 1978. It's the fastest I've ever seen anybody bowl in a, in a bowling spell in a test match. I refuse to be night watchman. Now, that's the first time in my life I've done that. And I, I'm not ashamed to say it. I'm scared to come out with that. I, I am not telling a lie. You knew that. You know? So it made life a little easier. And he bowled this one, once again, the thing not that far short of a length and it went screaming through here and it just took off and the batsman made the unfortunate mistake of actually turning back and watching and the ball you know you got the sight board there in Perth and the ball went bang it virtually hit on the half volley hit the fence sight board on the half volley and you could just see the color in this batsman's face it just drained oh, I don't know it was 161 k's or whatever that's no that wasn't a fast that's what they timed it at I mean that is thing what it really was, and it would have been over the ton, don't worry about that. Okay, these days it's a bit slower, but uh, I'm not quite as quick as what I used to. Even my boats have got slower. I used to have ski race boats and that. Now I've got this big Queenslander boat, which is a very nice boat, and uh, we can take a lot of people now. So all those people I bruised and battered, they will come on board now and have a beer with me.